YouTube, good afternoon. This is Puck. I have an iPhone 4G here and uh, I had this phone for a while because it's a very special phone. Um, <laughs> it uh, it connects to 3G, it connects to, uh, to the network, but you cannot place phone calls with it. In some way, when you place a phone call, then it just, uh, yeah, it just kills the connection. So this, this phone inside is not working. But however, if I use some mobile VoIP app or Skype, then I can place calls normally with the thing. So it's not some uh, microphone that is broken in here. It's something on the motherboard. So I use this phone to test. You know, it's also not for sale. As you can see, it's running iOS 8. Uh, look and feels I thought I made a video about this, but uh, I'm kind of fed up of it <laughs> Not really, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back to original. It's running 711 at this moment and uh, There are no pictures. No nothing so whatsoever. So how to do a thing like this? Well, you must make sure that your battery is kind of full not like empty and then now we're gonna do something and it's called dfu mode so what we're gonna do in fact we're gonna um we're gonna uh, put the phone into a dfu mode and then we're gonna um upgrade it to 7.12 but why do i have to put it in a dfu mode why can't i just hit restore well let me show you if we will go to um to here to settings let me bring you to settings we go all the way down reset and we say erase all content and settings yeah if we go for this oops can you zoom in a little bit there for me uh, my friend uh, iphone 6 you are very good lens right so here you can see erase iphone mm -hmm. and then erase iphone so now you will see what's going to happen. I'm erasing the iPhone now and I'm restoring it to new. And let's see if that will do it and clear the jailbreak whatsoever. Um, well, I think at this moment uh, we are on our way to break the phone. This iPhone will not boot up anymore at least that's what i think because it's jailbroken it runs cedia it's uh not original anymore and you know if it's gonna reboot as you could see it did not finish the complete uh, line and i think at this point the phone will not start up anymore So we're killing a good working iPhone here just for the video to show you how and what to do if this happens to you. So at this moment you are like, well, I'm restoring my iPhone and soon it's going to be brand new. So let's see what's going to happen. This is of course a real time process, so no uh, cheating in here. Everything you see is real. This thing was running 711. <laughs> and we uh, we did the reset, you know, um, clear all settings, uh, everything, uh, you know, reset the complete phone to a new phone. As you can see, it's still turning, turning, turning. And I think it will be turning for the coming next hours. <laughs> Whatever is happening here. This is exactly what will happen to you if you are on 711 on an iPhone 4 and you're restoring back to new, back to fresh. And this might happen to you. At this point, the phone is not working anymore. And 
you can forget about it. It keeps running, running, running. Have you ever seen an iPhone run so long, peeps? So there's not much what we can do here. What we should do is start putting in the cable. Your computer won't even recognize it at this moment. And in fact, there's nothing we can do. It keeps spinning. I can let it spin even longer for you. If we press both buttons, it should turn off. Oh, <laughs> I was pressing here. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's turn it off. We press the button for 10 seconds. You see? And now it will turn on again. Look what's going to happen. And now it's just going to stick to the Apple. It won't boot. You can wait for 10 years. It will stay just like that. See that? It's just gonna stay like that until next year. So and it, nothing you can do. So at this point, what we can do now to fix it, we have it connected to a computer with iTunes. I have 7.12 already downloaded. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this baby into a DFU mode. But now it's a little bit harder because we can't turn it off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it off with both buttons. Bang, we press the power. The moment we see the apple, we hold this and we wait until the apple goes away. And now we only hold the power button or the home button. So you hear that poop means that my uh, my Mac just found this iPhone. So let me uh, move the camera a bit for you so you can see what's happening. So that's the Mac. I hope you can see it a little bit. And this is the iPhone. The screen like this. I hope it will stay, it should stay, it stayed before. So can you see the iPhone? You can see the iPhone and you can see the screen. So now, okay, we are restoring the software. It's almost there. Should, so now it should go to the iPhone. Preparing iPhone for restore. Then waiting for iPhone. There you go, there you go, you see that? The iPhone is booting up. And um, just now you saw that we could not connect to the iPhone, it was taking very long. It's verifying iPhone restore with Apple. That should be fine. But just now we could not uh, connect to the phone. It would like wait very long to connect to the iPhone. And then, um, in fact, I just did it again and just popped in my USB cable in another USB port. And then, you know, I came until here. So this is a pretty good, this is looking pretty good. So now it should install. It's waiting for the iPhone again preparing iPhone software for restore and there we go we are restoring we did it so um, yeah after this is done it's restoring now you know after this is done then the phone will be updated to 7.12 
and the coolest thing is that um, you know uh, we could first not connect through this USB port of the Mac and I just removed it and put it in that one so it's worth it to try to see if you can like you know um, uh, try some other USB port because it really helps as you can see so this is the way how to fix your old iPhone 4 uh, if your phone was jailbroken by the way this is also the way how to do it for um, uh, iPhone 4s or 5 you know if you jailbroke it and it was jailbroken and you want to get it back to original it's very very important that you will have to put the phone into a DFU mode because if not then you know you will get the thing that you just saw and your iPhone will start spinning like crazy and you will be like my iPhone is broken in fact it's not broken but the software is broken and it need to be fixed and the way to fix it is to put the phone into a DFU mode just like the Samsung phones you need to put them in a download mode and 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 the HTC uh, will put itself by the software in some mode that it can you know transfer the software with almost every phone it's that way if you need to reinstall the software that runs the phone you need to put the phone in a kind of state you know it can be uh, uh, yeah all sorts of uh, names in uh, in Apple world in iPhone world we call it DFU mode DFU mode so you know we did that if you know how to do that never forget uh, when you want to put the phone into a DFU mode make sure that your phone is connected already with the USB cable to the machine you know otherwise if you don't do that you will have a problem because the moment you connect it again if you put it into a DFU mode and the moment you want to connect it to the computer again then you will see the Apple uh, logo will start booting up it's like it will jump out of that out of that mode that is what I experienced uh, in the last uh, in my jailbreak with my jailbreak uh, experience so yeah that's it peeps um, well uh, I'm gonna let this process go and then of course I will get back to you and then we will set up the phone together I have no sim card for this phone so I cannot uh, I'm gonna register it without a sim card and we will have to see how to do that so um, yeah until then I'll get back to you there we are we just fixed it back to original and we're gonna do some things real fast I don't want to choose no Wi-Fi cancel we choose no Wi-Fi continue without Wi-Fi uh, disable location services uh, set up as new iPhone agree agree no passcode don't send get started dang yay no more jailbreak though so but this thing is now updated and fully original and fixed again because you could see that we could not uh, do anything and we are on let me show it to you about there you go 7102 see that i don't hope it's in mirror because i'm seeing it in, in in kind of mirror so it's all good joe so this phone is you know all good again and we can use it again to you know make phones over um cyber this thing is my cyber phone uh, although it has no sim card it can just uh, connect to cyber and then with cyber i just make phone calls to any phone in the world i can also put credits on the foip account that i have on cyber uh, i will use this of course for my 640 by 480 cam because annoying and eh? the location service is begging all the time to to, to, be, to be turned on but here you go this is it see that I'm on film Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm on film 
D D D D. So that's it, peeps. Uh, I'm really happy to have this phone back to original. Anyhow, peeps, uh, this was it. This is how to fix the phone. You know, it's uh, running and up and all good again. So, you know, I won't make this video any longer. Um, this is it. Uh, I think uh, not jailbroke broken phone is better than a jailbroken phone but with a jailbroken phone you can do things that you cannot do with a jailbroken phone but then again if you're doing banking and other sort of important stuff you know i would leave my phone on original firmware because you know you might just screw it up for yourself so this was my video today peeps if you think this video was okay you must of course give it a little like subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know how it went with a jailbreaking your iPhone. You might also have a problem uh, or some problem phone lying around, you know, that is sticking to the Apple, but it's not continuing. Just put it into DFU mode and try to restore it. And if it the first time does not, cannot, cannot connect to the iPhone uh, on some, some certain USB port, just pop it into another USB port and see if it then works. To me, it was that was the op, uh, the Oplos thing. That was the solution. Anyway, peeps, I'm not gonna make it any longer. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and bye-bye.